Westchester, Pennsylvania. Allegheny Mountains on. We are 206 miles into our 2,700 mile journey. 2,500 miles to go. Let's let this run. There's probably some sweet scenery on this side. Getting on 70 West, heading to St. Louis. Oh yeah, somebody's burning something back there. Back to I-70. Our first major stoppage on 70, just west of Washington. Oh wow. There's some fucking carnage up here, dude. They're gonna be like, why is this asshole filming this? Yeah, dude, that's... Yeah. Uh... Sandusky Field. Yeah, Art Sandusky Field. Art Sandusky, Jerry's father. Absolute legend in this town. This is where Jeremy Schaap did the piece for ESPN, outside the lines. Let's take a quick stop here. Let me piss on Jerry's house here. There it is, 1910. This is where it all started. Jerry's name's still up on the wall of honor here. Wow, so this was the gymnasium where Jerry Sandusky. If you look in here close now, I don't know if you can see. You can see the basketball court. It looks like a nice little back here. Obviously Jerry lived up there somewhere on the second floor above. Maybe the biggest scheme ever, the second mile, which turned out to be a huge pedophile ring. Even Tom Corbett helped co uh, cover it up, the current governor of Pennsylvania. Delayed the prosecution 18 months so he could become governor in 2009, 2010. And then last year in January of 11, that's when Curley, Schultz, Paterno, they all go to the grand jury. Last April, Spanier goes to the grand jury, then all the investigation speeds up. The bomb drops last November. You know, it's like 9 11 all over again. And it all 
started here, dude. Crap, I mean, this is really a relic, like Jeremy Schaap said. Yeah. An American monster. The Dusky. Uh, I don't know, I, I'm not sure. Uh, Dusky? Oh, my God. Dude, I, dude, we were just, me and my buddy Dan were driving out to California. We just stopped off in Washington, PA, and we went to the Brownson house where it all started with Jerry. And what did he do there? Just walked around. Just walked around. I pissed on the side of the building. <laughs> um, I, really, I really had to go, so it felt good. And um, we saw Art Sandusky football field, took a picture of that. You know, Jerry's father, who's a legend here. So, it's a crazy little town in the middle of the southwest PA, dude. So, we're almost in a this cool bridge. This is pretty. Just saying a welcome to Ohio. So. Head to Columbus. About 100. 25 or so miles to Buckeye Nation. Coming into Columbus. Ohio is the worst state with cars just chilling in the left lane. I thought Jersey was, but I guess Ohio's worse. Oh, what do you know, another one. Uh, it's okay, you stay there, I'll take care of it. How fast are we going? 90. College game day experience on, you know, in 2006. College it was game day it was filmed right over here in this open park, and it backed up to the stadium, and they 
had the whole setup and everything. Right, the approach to St. Louis. Oh, wow. That's incredible. Look, dude, we're at 898 miles on the uh, trip. So we're going to come into the arch right, at, right after 900. Obviously, we got to backtrack a little bit back into Illinois to get to uh, the hotel, but only about five miles or so. Let's do it. Check out the building on fire up there. Sick. Really can't see it on the camera, but I'm gonna try to zoom in. Autofocus is kind of a little out of whack right now, but we make the most of it just because it's at twilight. Here we are at the Mississippi. St. Louis Riverfront. Central Time, 9.30 Eastern, Mississippi River. And just to think we had that revelation of uh, Eastern Time. Yeah. <laughs> well, we still would have gotten here by 9.30, which is yeah, so beast. Still. But, yeah. All right, so we'll see you from the top. We're going to walk up. I'm going to pause this. Filming this, actually. 93.3 WMMR rocks. MMR means more rock. <laughs> it's human as balls out. But the only time I've ever seen the Mississippi was in New Orleans. Never, never been up here. Dude, this is this is Huckleberry Finn ground, man. Yeah, we. I'm kind of worried. We left the car running. <laughs> I don't I want to touch. I can't do it. All right, let's get up there and catch the sunset. How beautiful is this? Welcome to St. Louis. End of day one. We're going to the top. About 90 miles east of Oklahoma City. Creek County, Oklahoma. Ravaged by fire. This smells like one big, one big bonfire. At least the remnants of it. Look at this, it came all the way to right here. Here, let's check down here, man. I can tell this used to be where water ran, I think. <laughs> Wow, you can see where like the fire trucks came, like the tracks and stuff. Look at the ash. I just realized I probably shouldn't be, we shouldn't be wearing flip flops, bro. Oh. Look at that. Yeah, it is bad news, bears, man. Oh. Yeah, it smells like a grill around here, dude. Just one big grill. Unbelievable. That those people are thanking the lucky stars in that house up there. From the Colorado fires, no matter how much. 
much water they had at their house, there was any, barely any way that they were actually able to fight the fires. Now we're heading down Ash Street, of course, in Luther. Great name for a uh, street. Well, I know Dogwood was. We're going to go up here and check out. We're just going to avoid this little road close to that. Guys, look, it looks like a, we have a community service center. We're this is crazy. This happened. Luther Fire and Rescue. It looks like they've been overwhelmed. Yeah. That's the little tiny fire department. This is crazy, this tiny little town. I mean, look at these houses. We're in Luther, Oklahoma. All right, so. When we get down to Southeast 8th Street. When's that coming up? Go up to Dogwood. Look at this place, man. All burned up. It's like a ghost town. Can't believe this is like reality. Oh, wow, you see the sun? See the water tower? The Luther water tower in the distance? Yeah. Alright, getting on the dogwoods, probably at the stop sign. Wow, this guy's house is lucky. It's crazy how certain blocks happen, certain don't. Christ, dude. I hope we don't get in trouble for filming because there's like authorities down there. Wow. It's crazy. Dude, this guy was burnt. He was he must have been throwing this out of his pickup right driving right down the street. It must have been. We're driving back down the main street right after that neighborhood. The whole forest is gone. He was trying to burn down the high school, maybe. Who knows? The whole sides of the hills are burning. The only thing is you can't really scratch so you only see in this video of it's just a smell. An accurate smell. All this electric people trying to work on the electricity, it's probably been taken out from all these fires. If we would have been here 24 hours ago, we probably would have been right in the middle of all this. Wow, every leaf gone. A lot of the bark stripped down to the, to the bare bones. The nuclear winter uh, description fits it perfectly. Yeah, it looks almost like there's um, a dusting of you know flurries on the ground. camped out all along the side of the road here as we head back down south to 40 to the 44. Wow those guys those people are probably going through the remains of their house. somebody's house and this is right across from the <laughs> I got no this is national this is national news Luther middle right next to Luther elementary it's a tiny town you've got all the workers right here they probably had a long day yeah they look pretty beat all right we'll go down to the next street and make a left these people are very lucky. But it's crazy, I mean, you look back in the forest there, it's tough to see, but... It's just completely black. 
Well, a lot of the trees are like grayish from the ash of all the leaves burning. Yeah. So it's almost like a nuclear winter. That, that was disturbing. The whole block was just wiped out. If they catch the dude who did that, he's finished. What did you say? Absolutely. Right by the uh, the water tower. Yeah. Then you got some tiny little houses over here. But I say it's they got lucky. His justice should be the citizen's justice. They should burn him at the stake. Go a little out. Yeah, go out left. There. Go left. All right, back Everybody to the 44. We gotta should go. get a noble line. Oklahoma City. 1995, that's what's just amazing. In 1995, uh, the bombing in Oklahoma City was a direct blow to the heart of America. 116 people were killed, including 19 children. Well, so we're walking north right now, right? The building that was blown up, the truck was parked in the face, on the north face. So McVeigh apparently, according to the official report, came up Northwest 5th Street here from the west. And he, you know, he came right up. And this road, used to, you can sit, tell, it used to be an incline starting here. And it used to incline up to, up to there where, you know, the other side of the uh, block is. Where the 901 is. Obviously, the minute before the blast at 902. And then up here, we got 903. And, uh, yeah, 168 lives, over 500 injured. And obviously, Fifth, you know, Northwest Fifth Street was uh, in an incline here, and he parked the truck pretty much where that guy's standing. And that, you can see that's where the majority of the chairs are. Brought down the whole north face of the building, which, you know, this it was facing this way. The side that had all the damage. So it was faced this way? Yeah. So if we were standing over here, we'd be facing the, the building that had all the damage, like right up there on this side. Wow. Oh yeah. All the wreaths and stuff on the uh One of the greatest cover-ups by the American government, namely the FBI and ATF in American history. No ATF agents were in the building, and they were the supposed target of McVeigh's wrath from Waco and Ruby Ridge. How come none of the ATF agents were there? Watch the movie A Noble Lie. I'm telling you, Chris Emery does a great job directing it. It's a groundbreaking movie. It's two hours long. It's all about the cover-up. And it basically got Bill Clinton reelected. And I know that sounds crazy, but the year after the bombing in 1995, of course, was the election. Oh, and Dan, as I'm talking about the bombing, I also should note that all the Operation Whitewater papers were right here in the Alfred P. Murrah Federal Building. That's right. That linked Bill Clinton to Mena, Arkansas, in a drug running scam. Quite damning evidence that probably would have somehow got him lost the election to Bob Dole in 96. Bob Dole. Yeah, from Bob Dole from Kansas. Got him reelected basically. And it was just I I firmly believe it was an inside job, dude. A couple more crazy to think that. Why would it go? Well, that's actually? because we're not sheep to the mass media. No way McVeigh and Nichols alone could have done this. Yeah, it was a, an ANFO bomb. Ammonium nitrate and fuel oil. Yeah, right. And the whole front north face of the building got blown off by the blast pressure that wouldn't have gone a quarter of the distance of where the building just fell apart, which was, of course, from C4 charges of plastic explosives that there's confirmed evidence were planted in the building 
by the ATF and the Secret Service in the whole areas of the building where their offices were located and where all the evidence was located. But this is stuff the media doesn't want to report on. Watch an opal lie and you'll know what I'm talking about. It's just crazy to see all these victims and like artifacts all because the government. Well, here's a first responder in memory. Yeah, the buildings were destroyed all around here. It was chaos. All right, you're pretty uh, talkative right now. Is there a moment? Is this all the original? I don't know, it's just been stuff put there over the years. It's all physics, dude. Like I was saying, with the ammonium nitrate fuel oil, if it was that one bomb simply alone, when the media first reported at least two or three bombs of that size or bigger already in the building that didn't go off, and then of course that was all suppressed after and the official story was just McVeigh and Nichols alone planted a 4,500 pound ammonium nitrate fuel oil bomb. As time goes by without you. I don't agree with me, kid. Yeah. The days of question. No, I'm just completely speechless. <laughs> First of all, on our trip, we passed through Luther, Oklahoma, where a whole town was completely de devastated by one douchebag. And now we come here the Oklahoma City Memorial not more than a half an hour afterwards just to witness the same exact thing. However, in this case, we have a memorial up here. Yeah, I mean, a memorial to a crime by Janet Reno and Louis Free and the FBI. It's an organized crime, baby. That's how things work. Unbelievable. All right, we got to hit the road. My turn to drive. Sure about that, buddy? Oh, no doubt. 545 miles to La Quinta Inn. Albuquerque. Uh, Gans, where are we? We're on uh, I-40 West. We're 200 miles from Amarillo. Oh my God. Dude, pull over. Dude, Oklahoma, man. Oklahoma is filled with fire and horrible things. You see that? Is this really happening right now? That was an explosion. I mean, that sounds stupid, but I don't want to call 911 on my phone. I don't want to. Yeah. All right, I'm calling 911, dude. Dude, is that a. Dude. Dude, there's a woman over there on the side. Is that her car, you think? Yeah, it's her. It's her car. Here's where we are. Middle of nowhere, Oklahoma. You might want to get out of here. That thing might explode any second now. See how the 
Dude, the gas is starting to work its the fire's starting to work its way back to the gas tank. This is crazy. Uh, hey, Okay. We told our wife from Oklahoma City, so she's called for some help. Yeah, we're driving. We're driving across country from Philadelphia. We stopped by. Yeah, up on I-44, there was all those fires. Yeah, we, yeah. yeah we, I've been listening down here, but my granddaughter there's a paramedic. Okay, and great. She, her day's off today. We've been to the city. She's fixed to get married. Been up and trying on tuxedos and things. So she's uh she's a first responder today. Yeah, and there's someone on here. There's someone in the grass over there too. There's someone. Well, we were afraid that car was gonna blow up. Comes a cop finally. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so she works out of a, a pit up here in Weatherford. Yeah. So it's her base up here. Yeah. So there's, there's we just saw we saw Luther. We saw Luther. Luther. Uh, her dad lives at Luther. Yeah, we, we visited we town. Yeah. Him and he's the, the far about we two saw, miles. Here, yeah, so. we saw the fires. Wow, this this cop is this cop is probably calling the fire. He's probably calling the fire department right now. Get the hell down here. This is unbelievable, man. I've never seen a car fire like that in my life. Either. Especially on the side of a major interstate. All right, ma'am, we'll take care. Be easy. Oh my God. It's crazy. Gans. Gans. What the f what is wrong with Oklahoma? What just happened? What is wrong? Oh, they bring a uh what is this truck? Oh, it's a mo Anyway, Shit. I gotta see this. Yeah man, just, just keep it going. We go we go for, for wildfires. To house. automatically assume that this was probably just another wildfire that happened. Well, luckily they're dousing it. Yeah. It's and like you, got, you still got people flying through there. Yeah, what do you, I just, I love how, I love how people will just blow right past the cop, whether he's pulling somebody over or, uh, Man, or that even smells. a first responder at That's, putting out a fire. Yeah. They, Man, that smells horrible. If I didn't see, if I didn't see those other two people, I would have thought that somebody else was in there. Okay. All right, man. Let's. Yeah. They're putting it out. This is starting to smell acrid. Let's get out of here. to Amarillo, I don't know, less than 100 to the Texas state border. We're not that far from Texas. Look at all these.
time, 11.30 at Eastern. About like 10, 30. 1, 000, 1,026 miles into today. Had that to 9.15 yesterday. We're almost at 2,000. That's awesome. But then again, it's we're at probably like 1,800 because some of that's deviation. So we're probably like 1,900 in terms of the, the route. But we haven't had a legit radio station in a good 75 miles, 100 miles, across New Mexico, maybe even more. There's some crazy lightning storms over there. Good morning, Good morning. Daniel. It's yes. Monday morning. Welcome to Albuquerque, New Mexico. We got here at what, about 11 o'clock yeah. mountain time last night. And we are... About to get back on the 40 West. Just coming back down to uh, downtown Albuquerque here. Heading towards Gallup, Arizona. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, the uh, scenery out here is ridiculous. It's just miles and miles of flatlands and just some mountains in the, in the uh, distance. Here's Albuquerque. Can't see it now. Get a shot of it in a second here. Dan's gonna power us to the Grand Canyon. I'm gonna finish it off. Damn sure. Damn straight. Damn. <laughs> that too. Wow, look at the mountains that we had to come around just to get in here last night. We couldn't see them last night because it was too dark, but it's awesome out here. no-name streets out here, brother. God, man, it's just rolling hills and mountains in the distance. They're actually mountains, they're not hills like we have in Pennsylvania. Ten miles to Arizona. There's the Santa Fe Railroad. Oh, uh, God, it's tagged up, though. It's the BNS. Well, whatever it is, it's a crazy long cargo train heading east as we head Woo! Look how long that thing is! It's awesome! Woo! Gates! Gates! Look! Woo! New Mexico trains! Yeah! Yeah, train! Awesome! Do you see how big that thing is? Oh my god. Man alive! I fucking love my trains. Ladies love and gentlemen, I'm officially spooked out of my mind right now. We'll be in Arizona in a few minutes. 140 miles to Flagstaff. Massive Ron Paul sign. Absolutely. Da Daniel's pumped. I know. I saw that from like a mile away. <laughs> oh, that's great. Exhibit A on how to drive like a complete a-hole. Hey, isn't the uh, the, the left-hand lane used for uh, passing? I think it's, it's the last time I checked it. Was. I think it's drive left, pass mm -hmm. right. So, What's your buddy, Kia Optima, Black, Black Ops, Black Ops, <laughs> GI Joe, GI Joe, all American hero, Black Freedom. helicopters Ronald. operated by GI Joe. Probably knows he's being filmed too, that's the best part. I wonder how long this is gonna go on for. This isn't a cruise control moment. No shit, sure. Petrified Forest National Park. Hopefully we're down to the forest part soon. Check out! Check the train! Woo! Santa Fe! Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches! Yeah. 
Yes. Yes. So amped up. Oh. All right. Oh. Wow, sunset. Check out the five. Some of the double stackers just barely get underneath here. get to see that every day. Woo! On to the petrified forest, just a little bit farther south. It's like the Chicago Harley there. Davidsons. It might be going up to Sturgis, I don't know. Wow. Watch this. Sick. Yeah. It's a beast. Heading back north out of the Petrified Forest National Park. This place is awesome, but, but it'll be nothing compared to the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Dude, it's unbelievable. This was all built into the side of a hill that a meteor formed. Well, here's the directory. Welcome to the Meteor Crater. Let's go to the crater, brother. Dan. <laughs> Gotta walk through the gift shop first, of course. <laughs> All of it, yeah, since we started walking up the outside steps. <laughs> nice, here's an over here's an overhead view of it. There's a Ramada in here. There is a Ramada in. There's also a subway.
<laughs> a Russian mystery. Man, this is awesome. Uh, let's get outside. <laughs> yeah, if only we had time to really look at all these exhibits. That's why Al Gore invented the internet, so we could do this stuff online. <laughs> um, oh, wait, we must have walked right by the door to go outside. Where is the door to go outside? <laughs> All right, we need to get outside. Oh, dude, we walked right by it. Yeah, Idiots. I thought it was going to, in order to get out through the crater, I thought we'd have to go through the gift shop. Well, we saw some exhibits. We went through the museum. Quick tour of the museum, slight detour. Now we're outside for the crater. Yeah, let's get to the top. Excuse me. Dude, is this real? <laughs> yeah, let's go up top, bro. Imagine how superheated all these rocks were at impact. Wow, did you see for miles? Legit. It is. Wow. That's science, man. This is crazy. The second of three national parks we're going to see today. Yeah. Before we get to California. There's 16 bucks a pop, but definitely worth it. How often are we gonna be able to see something like this? Yeah, it's about a half mile wide, mile wide. Dude, the panoramic is incredible. Yeah. Like looking to the north. You can see the 40 in the distance, the trucks. Yeah, so we get a nice panoramic at the end of this video, brother. It is about 2.25 in the afternoon. It's Monday. I believe it's August 6th. Is that correct? That's correct, sir. Absolutely. We have Mr. Gantz right here who is casually sitting down. Uh, we're on our way to the Grand Canyon. His own personal time where he reflects upon his trip. Get from the mind prepared for a visually stimulating experience up here in the canyon. Absolutely. And just being one with nature here. I mean, we're driving through, as you can see, beautiful pine lands. 164 in Arizona, straight up from uh, I-40 up to the Grand Canyon. It's about 
about 56 miles each way. And I haven't been to the Grand Canyon in 20 years since I was eight years old. My family, we went out to, uh, that was the first time I was ever in California. We went to San Diego for the All-Star Game weekend. And then we did a road trip to uh, Flagstaff and Grand Canyon to finish it out up here. And I barely remember coming to the Grand Canyon, so this is going to be sweet for me. It's almost going to be like my first time here again. And let me ask you this. Do you have any thoughts or recollections for like any any bit of that trip when you were, were eight years old? Yeah, I just remember I remember uh, the ghost town that we ended up in somewhere near Sedona. Oh, really? Yeah, it was just it was just crazy. You know, it was like what we saw today at the Meteor Crater uh, National Park, just miles and miles of mountain. And I also remember just I mean, I you, the view of uh, the Grand Canyon is unmistakable. I remember that, but um, the actual layout of like the Grand Canyon Village where we're going. I'm, no, oh, absolutely. So, we'll be there in, what, 10 miles? Yeah, about that. About that, yeah. All right. Oh, I'm sitting in the Grand Canyon <laughs> Village. Right. Massive deer just chilling on the side of the road. Approaching Mather Point, the Grand Canyon. What's up, man? Not much, dude. It's long, long way to up here. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's a legit hiker. Look at this guy. Yeah, he's got a 12 pack. 12 pack of beer. Nice. The blue towel, nice. I think English is definitely a second language. <laughs> legit. It's badass, is what it is. Dude, it's like 7,500 feet above the uh, Colorado River. So you know what that is? You take one World Trade Center, stick it down there in the very far gorge where the Colorado River is, and you could stack that up like three and a half times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can go down there. We'll go down there to get pictures down there at that lookout. Out of all the times I've flown over this place. Yeah. It's nice to be back. All right, let's go down to uh, Made a Point there. All right, let's go down here. Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious, dude. Are you on me to go first? Yeah, Dan. Dude, I'm gonna get up on this high rock here in video. Go for it. It's hot! Dan, when's the last time you were here, brother? Never. You never been here? I thought you said you were the only one in your family that's been here. I'm the only one in my family that is going to be here. Oh, nice, man. None of them ever been here. Well, I'm glad I could bring you here. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm just standing on a rock watching people take pictures. I'm just getting on the highest point of Mather Point. <laughs> yeah, I'll be down to take pictures. Somewhere between Yavapai and Mather Point, looking west and north. And there's the incredible ledge we're going to walk down to. It's just a dude just chilling down there. Damn, let's do this, bro. I'm filming this, by the way.
<laughs> the stuntman from Sandy, Utah, Brent Stephenson. The land of the cowards, home of the slaves, as Alex Jones famously said. <laughs> Kind of a cliff. Dude, how's that view? <laughs> Dude, this guy's over here on this ledge by himself. It's unbelievable. I said it's unbelievable. All right, Dan, I'm going to go around. Luckily, these are brand new dock siders. Timberlands, Dan, and they have some traction. We're taking the unconventional route, but yeah. Great thunder. Uh -oh. Dude, do you hear that thunder to the east? Yeah. Uh -oh. Good thing we're going west. Wow. This is what feeling free is like, everybody. Anybody watching this movie should definitely experience it once in their life. I am for feel fortunate that I could. 20 years ago I was here. This doesn't really look that familiar, but in pictures it looks the same. You can see the Colorado River down there. Just a little bit of it. I'm gonna zoom in. There it is. And doors suddenly working. Strange. Yeah, I didn't check my service up here. Yeah, Pandora hasn't been working for a couple hours now. All of a sudden, it starts when I'm standing out on a cliff on the Grand Canyon. That's pretty crazy. I know. I only have one bar though. What service do you have? AT and T. Yeah, so do I. We're driving here from. Uh, we drove here from Albuquerque this morning. We're driving to California. Yeah, we, we're coming from Philly originally. Three day trip. We're from Oklahoma, and we went to Kelly, and then we're on our way back now. Nice. Yeah, I've only been here once in my life, and I was 20 years ago, so I barely remember it. How old were you then? Eight. Eight? Yeah, I'm 28 now. Yeah, it was 1992. Different? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much the same. It takes many, many years for anything to change here. Dan. All right, I gotta find my buddy. It is big. Uh, you see those thunderstorms over there to the east? Oh yeah, it's rain. You can even see it raining too. Yeah, that's cool. It's pretty crazy. I like the shadows cast by the clouds on the side of the canyon. It's like old light here and just dark all over there. Woo! Eric. I'll get Dan, let's come here and take pictures. I met this guy, what's your name, Eric? Yeah. What's up, man, I'm Kevin. Nice, nice to meet you, man. Where are you from? Oh, you're city of Oklahoma. Yeah. Oklahoma City? No, uh, Tulsa. Okay, yeah, we drove down through there. It was crazy with the, oh, yeah. the wildfires. Yeah. We drove through Luther, that was, you know, really sad. It happened, the fire started over by our town, though. Uh, yeah, we, we went, Springs. yeah, we stopped at some gas station right off the 44 there, and they were yep. like, it came right up to our edge, and we just yes. saw, we just saw fields and fields of, um, you know, just black, and it was just hard. We haven't been home yet, so we don't know what it looks like. We're on our way home now. Well, it's crazy, because on one side of the 44, the south side, there's nothing, yeah. but on the north side, you'll it's see all it's this. all, the trees are burned and stuff. Well, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, man. Stay safe. Yeah, have a good trip. Don't fall. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't go any farther. I reckon that's my limit. <laughs> I like that hat, brother. I'm from North Jersey originally. I grew up a Yankees fan. Oh, cool. Where are you from? Australia. Oh, great. 
Well, cheers. <laughs> we're having we're heading to California. Where are you heading? You're just here visiting and before you go back. Uh, I'm heading up towards. Uh, I'm studying out at Princeton. Oh, where at? Princeton. Oh, great. That's yeah. I, I, we're just coming here from Philly. I'm moving across country, so I know Princeton really well. We're heading west, down to 64 South from the Grand Canyon. Why well, stop here? This is only two lane road, by the way. Wiper blades. Nature's making us earn it to get to California. On my That's right. Cars. Wow, this is off the dirt. This came out of nowhere. Get tested. Do I speed past that and risk killing us? Or just killing? It's up to you, man. No. Say I made the right decision. My nature reward is. like I said, but they're going like 100 miles an hour at least. It's crazy. You're looking at one of the... You're looking at one of the...
Ten times the charm. I have no voice left. Santa Fe Railroad, right as we get to California. That's unbelievable. Oh. oh. Dude, from Pennsylvania to California. Welcome. All right, on to Newport. Huntington Beach Pier. <laughs> Very legit. Surf City, USA. There's a ton of them out today. Waves are so awesome here. What a sweet view to like watch people surf. Get used to this, Kevin. Yeah. Welcome to my new life. <laughs> 